I figured I'd do a quick video on this. I don't plant these anymore. I used to grow tobacco because I used to smoke tobacco a little bit. And I used to like to burn it. I like to breathe it in when you burn it outside at night. I like the smell of it. It's a very beautiful smell. But I don't grow it anymore. But uh, tobacco grows around here like basically a weed. It comes up every year. For the last five years i've been growing tobacco for about five or six years out here and it literally grows like a weed and let me tell you something if i leave this thing alone in the pot this thing will just it'll bolt it'll get those little trumpet flowers and it'll be all over again so i pretty much got it under control for the most part just every now and again a, a plant will pop up here and there if it's not being invasive i'll leave it alone and i'll take it down before it it bolts but uh, this is very wonderful smoking tobacco you just if you're gonna smoke tobacco don't you want to smoke it raw you got to cure the tobacco and that's a f extremely long process to do it if any of you are interested in how you I cured tobacco when I used to cure it maybe I'll do a video for you I'll teach you how to cure your own tobacco but you don't want to generally smoke tobacco straight off the plant it has to cure this is what happens with tobacco that comes straight off the plant. Now this has been hanging here for about two years. I don't generally use this, but it, it can get a little weird. But even, the, even though it is the way it is, you can still smoke that. I can roll it up and smoke it for you. It's not gonna kill you. Uh, even if it does have mold on it, it's you're gonna kill it. So a lot of people say, no, it's got moldy, get rid of it. it doesn't make a difference. The mold just makes it taste a little more sour, uh, bitterish like. Whereas when I cure and ferment my tobaccos, they come out better than the cigarettes you would buy in the store. Smoother. Smoother than the smoothest cigar you can imagine. So it takes a long time to do it. And the longer you do it, the, the more it develops flavor. But just thought I'd give you a quick look at the tobacco plant. Just talk a little bit about the tobacco. I don't know which variety of this is. I've grown I don't know, about a dozen varieties of tobacco. Everything from the Kentucky broadleaf to golden something, I don't know. I've grown dozens of varieties, so this could be any one of those dozens. Some of them even probably crossed, I don't know. This just comes up every year now on, on my property. So yeah, that's the tobacco plant. Just figured I'd give you a quick look at it. Here's the leaf, All right, here's the stem. There's no flowers yet, I'll show you the flowers, but if you've never seen tobacco, this is a wonderful plant to grow. Just keep it away from tomatoes, all right? So that's it, and I'll see you on the next one.